Hi again, I'm Rafi, and I'm here with Mr. Glenn Tan of Hanchong and Motor Image Philippines and Uzi, Uzi of Motor Image Philippines, who's a regular of ours. He's uh, also an alumnus of our podcast, the Procast 2022. Anyways, so congratulations, Glenn, and congratulations, Uzi. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for bringing the WRX and WRX wagon to the Philippines first among all Motor Image uh, territories. And... Well, what what do you guys have to say about the about the car, the reception you've seen, and what kind of um, future do you see for this particular model of WRX? Well, I think you know this model. Uh, we waited a long time for it. You know, it skipped a generation of Subaru cars, and uh, it's now with all the latest technology, the global platform. So it's a completely big jump from the models you guys had. So I think uh, it's going to have a big success again. We're looking forward to establishing WRX as a premium sports sedan and uh, the WRX wagon as a hopefully as a replacement for the Forester XT customer so it's going yeah. to be very exciting um, you know it's completely different car it drives differently it's like a, that's why I won the Japan car of the year and all that so you know it's a totally different car I know the price point is different but you know you get what you pay for you, for you, the you hit the nail on the head there that's what I've been saying all along that the WR well the Leborg the WRX wagon is the replacement for the Forester XT, the Forester Turbo, which was the, an in, immensely popular car here. Yeah, and right. you have got customers like me. I had an XT as well. And we all tried to make our cars handle better, yeah. be sportier, a little bit faster. And that's exactly what the WRX wagon is, yes, straight out right. of the box. Yeah, that's right. So I think that's that's a fantastic thing. Yeah. How about you, yeah. Uzi? What do you think uh, speaking today? of success, actually, we have to attribute it to Boss. The boss Glenn, because as you heard earlier, the first batch of the WRX units will be allocated to the Philippines. So Filipino customers will get to enjoy it first. See, so uh, I think I think that it's a it's an honor yeah. for us uh, to be the first among all ASEAN territories to have a crack at the WRX wagon. I think that we should be all running to be first in it. What kind of customer do you think will be? looking at this uh, first is definitely we have the WRX club here I'm pretty sure most of them will be repeat customers yeah and as boss said uh, it's a functional performance car you can see yeah. four to five comfortably sometimes the wife doesn't know that yeah. it's turbocharged <laughs> it's yeah. a normal car yeah. that's, so. that's what I did <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did and I was saying when we bought our our first Subarus for Motor Image, that was 15 years ago. Uh, myself, Attorney Monch over there, Vic over there, Celso over there, and all of us, we've grown up in the <laughs> grown up in the last 15 years. I'm 50 now, and as you see, the car's grown up as well. I think the car just follows what you know the lifestyle that we have. Yeah, I think it works. Uh, any parting words, sir? No, I mean, you know, the new car is uh, completely different, so you have to come and check it out to seeing is believing. Yeah, I think so. And uh, Uzi, yeah. and, uh, uh, where are the showrooms now? We have 13 showrooms nationwide. Uh, in a few days, we will have a uh, display on some of our showrooms. You can check out the WRX in the metal. Please visit us. We'll take care of you. And, and that's that's for sure. Uh, I, I walk into the showroom quite a bit. Thanks a lot. Glenn. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Uzi. Thank you. Thank you, Zerati. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.